hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video we will see how to install Xamp on mac os so for that first we need to open a web browser and we just need to search for then after the search results on the top of the search items we will have this url apachefriends.org and through this URL, we will navigate to the downloads page. Okay, now we need to click on this download menu item and we need to scroll down because we are going to download for our macOS system. So I will be downloading the latest version that is 8.2.4 and I'll click on this download. So it start downloading automatically, but in case if your downloading hasn't started then what you can do is mine has automatically started in case if it is if it doesn't then you need to click here and it will open up this page automatically and you need to go to the ZAMP Mac OS okay and inside this you need to click on 8.2.4 and you can click on this download latest version in case that download button you pressed and it didn't start the download okay in that case only so it will take few seconds depending upon your internet connection and it will be downloaded in your folder okay so our champ installer is downloaded now i will be going to the finder and we have this dot dmg file here i'll be double clicking on this and a prompt will be open the installer so we need to click on this and it will start installing okay a prompt is there says installer cannot be open because developer cannot be verified okay so we need to provide the permissions so i will be going to the system settings and i will be going to the privacy and security here we need to scroll down and we need to uh, just click on this uh, a notification is there sam os 6 was blocked because use it is not from an identified developer so we need to click on this open anyway we need to provide the password not the icloud password the system password the mac os password okay so i have modified the settings now it will be accessible now i'm again clicking on this okay uh, okay it says again okay to wind okay i'll just again okay now it will start opening the installation or do i need to click it again okay now i need to enter the mac password okay so i think it's fine now a process okay will allow this okay so now the process has been started to install this jam so uh, a setup prompt is opened now we need to click on the next so i'll not be changing or you know selecting any component as it is whatever component is selected by default i will be installing in the same way uh, installation directory will be the same application ZAMP ready to install yes we'll click on next so it start installing the ZAMP and it's just unpacking some files and things in the applications folder probably it will take some few seconds okay so ZAMP has been installed now we'll just click on this finish and it will launch the ZAMP okay so it has launched the ZAMP and okay a prompt has been also launched up here in the web browser so we can see uh, in the managed servers Apache web server is running and we can also see the server events and different servers that are there 
that XAMPP supports and uh, okay so in the managed servers we can also you know stop this and we can configure this if we want to you know change the port we can also do so from 80 to 90 because 80 has been occupied by a different application we can also do so we just need to change the port we need to just restart okay so i'll just close this xam and i'll just start it again so i have closed it okay now uh, from the launch pad itself i'll just start this i'll click on this xam other and i'll just click on this manager and it will again ask the system password the mac os machine password okay now i can see manage servers okay it's it will start also we can uh, you know uh, okay my cannot okay i just need to start this okay so uh, what i can do is i'll just start my mysql database and I'll check on which server it mm -hmm. will be running. Okay, it's starting. Three three zero six. Okay, by default it's running on that. Okay, so we can also you know create uh, the table. We can also you know create the database and all you know with this. Uh, interface and we can start work on it okay we can also do the uh, php things we can also create the php pages with it okay so in this way we can install the xamp on our mac os machines uh, hope you got all these steps that i have done in this video if you have any query or question do comment and i will be happy to help thank you guys